Okay, cool. So we're going to check our oil here real quick. See if it's uh, where we want it to be. And uh, it's not quite there yet. So um, when we're sitting around. Wait, did anybody see the basketball game last night? Uh, what did you think about the Lakers beating San Antonio? <laughs> Glad it happened. Can I say that? Glad it happened. Because the Lakers are a more exciting team to watch. I mean, you know, Pop and the Spurs, yeah, they're they're fundamentally sound basketball team. They're gonna get it done. But it's 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 like it's it's just a slow paced ball game. You won't see uh 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 the high flying acts that you will see from San from say um even the Mavericks or the the um the Phoenix Suns or the Lakers, you know, they they just have a more athletic team, which is more fun to watch. Besides that, I've been looking forward to um, Lakers and Celtics hook up again. You know, well, it's been eleven times in, in both French the history of the franchise that they've hooked up for a championship. So I'm waiting for that. I'm, I'm old school. I, I was there when watching Larry Bird and Magic Johnson just take the floor in the short shorts. You I'm know what I'm say saying? You wore the short shorts. Then. Oh yeah, I wore the short shorts. Yes, I did, and. Uh, you know, right now, I mean, it's just different generation. Hey, you know, but uh, well, yes, I was uh, in the short shorts. Bird could say that, you know, while you're talking about them not being fun to watch, they won four championships in nine years. Hello. <laughs> Holla at you, girl. Hey, you well, is, nobody said the wins had to be pretty. You just have to just win, baby. That's all that the man asks of you, just win. It doesn't have to be flashy, pretty, or nothing like that, just as long as you get it done, you know. Um, when you talk Kobe. about championships, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Should he Kobe. Have got MVP? <laughs> yes, Why? without a doubt. Come on, man. He proved that he doesn't need Shaq in town to win the championship to get there again. You know, he, he the biggest trade that happened in the NBA this year was was Gasol going to the Lakers. That was the best thing to happen. Everything after that was a knee jerk reaction from the from the other owners in the NBA. I think Gasol was the steal of all the the, the veterans out there to get. He was the man. And he's proved to fit in quite nicely, quite nicely in the chemistry of the Lakers setup, you know. So, again, here you got uh, you got a team that's been put in place, put together. Phil is sitting back like he did in Chicago and just watching the guys play basketball. You think he's coaching a whole lot right about now? I don't think so. How's the food coming? Hey, it's coming. <laughs> it's going to get here, all right? Just relax. It's going to come on. What is it? Not quite there yet, but it's gonna get there in just a second. Now, yeah. Oh, thank you for not showing me. That. What? Yes, one. Leave a tip, please. Tip is nowhere. I'm gonna do this. What's happening right now? We're waiting for the uh, oil to get hot. Talk to us. Tell us what happened. How hot does the oil need to be? What's, I don't cook. You don't what's, cook. What's the uh, temperature that the oil should be? Should be around, uh, say, 325. That's about a medium, nice medium uh, temperature range there. 325 is good, okay? And that's what we want for the uh, potatoes to cook fast and not burn, you know? And it's just about to the temp where we want it to be in order to get these things on. Now, uh, when, you're, when you're cooking the potatoes, you, you, it's about timing. Good food, good cooking, good eating is all about timing, you know? That's that's how the great ones do it. You know, that's how we did it in the restaurants. You know, it's like, hey, you know, is the burger almost ready? Drop those fries in. You know, it's like kind of well, those kind of deals. You know, you got to time it so when it comes to your table, it's hot. It's hot. You know, it's getting hot in here. So, so now we're gonna drop the potatoes in the oil here again because they've been blanched earlier. They will not take long at all to cook. And by putting them on the, the uh, paper towel here, here we've uh, actually we've drained the excess oil off the potatoes. But men don't care about that. No, we really don't. Hey, just drop it, drop it on up in there. And let's get drop it done. It like it's hot. Like it's hot up in this joint. <laughs> so who taught you to cook? Uh. Uh, I started off as a busboy in a restaurant one night. Uh, I watched the cooks cook, and it was like uh, it's just one of those things that I was able to do. And uh, one night at this restaurant, um, one of the cooks didn't show up, and the, the management was frantic, like, hey, we need somebody else to cook. It's busy. It's a Friday night. We need somebody. We need somebody. Hey, Ron, what? Can you cook? Well, look at the mop, the bucket, and the toilets that, that I have to clean later on. 
Yes, I can cook. The rest is history. All right. So, and that's how I started uh, started cooking in the restaurants and everything like that. From there, uh, that was my summer job for for years on end through college. Actually, uh, my track coach demanded that I, I did not cook anymore during the summers because I was gaining too much weight from trying my own food. You know, I'm a, I'm a cook. What well, I got, you got to try it. So anyway. Um, I became a firefighter years after that, after college, and the first thing that my, my commanding officer asked me when I walked into the station, he said, hey, Rook, can you cook? It's like, can I cook? So for the next 20 years of my career, I've been cooking for a group of guys every third day, every fourth day. i got to cook for some people, you know, up, upwards anywhere from 10 to 20 people at a time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, Got so good at it, I thought I was ready to own my own restaurant. So I tried that little stint, too. Great experience. Lots of headache. Lots of heartache. But uh, education, nonetheless, needed education. So these things are coming along quite nicely here. How do we know they're coming along nicely? Just because you told us they're coming along nicely. They're floating. They're <laughs> floating. The reason why they're coming along nicely is because they're floating. Now, from that point, once they start to float, they're basically done. And... and the, 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 the rest of the way that you leave them into the, the oil here to cook is a personal preference. Again, you could uh, let them stay in there for, for a, a more of a crisp, or you could take them out right now. But because they're about, like I said, an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch thick, they're going to be fine. They're going to hold up. They're going to just do great for you here. And uh, just look at that. Look at that. Just about to that point of being golden brown. Look like potato chips, you know, wow. which is what they are, new That's potatoes. Impressive. All right, thank you, thank you. How do you know when they're done? <laughs> they float. <laughs> they float when like they're a done. Butterfly sting like a bee. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Float like a butterfly. Stang like a bee. Stang like a bee. You from Shreveport? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> now that the potatoes are done, I prefer. A little Cajun seasoning. We don't even show the name of that because we're not going to endorse anybody. That's right. They ain't paid us. Ain't no, no, not they yet. No not yet. yet. So, no so we going to, no cheddar. Put a little bit of that on there. Shake them up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't put it back on there. You yeah. Know what you hey. Do. Hey. So that, Any man out there on the planet who shakes up something and it drops, even on the floor, the first thing going to do is. <laughs> so, that was on the counter. The counter is clean. Clean kitchen, clean food. All right, here we go. Mm. How are they? <laughs> How are they? Who cooked them? Mmm, <laughs> man. <laughs> you want? Did you want some? You two wanted some? Sorry. <laughs> warn the children that they're hot. They're warm. No, they they've eaten daddy's food before. It's extra hot. Okay. A little ketchup on the side here. <laughs> All right. In the next segment, segments, <laughs> we're going to show you how to make the sauces, and uh, I'll, I'll con construct. I'll put that turkey sandwich together for you with the honey Dijon mustard as well. What are we watching? What are we watching? What show is this? <laughs> You're watching what's cooking with Ron. I sing the other song. Yes, we no got a banana. Huh? Mumbles today. Mamas. Mumbles. Mumbles. Oh no, that's too hard to sing. You need a song. You need music to that. Need the music to that anyway. I mumble all the time anyway. You would never do little 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 it's nice stuff. Almost every day, but now you say no, 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 rapping. Rapping? That's what she says and you say. I don't listen to rap in the car with you guys. You listen to what is that? Steve Harvey. Uh-uh, that's Mama listening to Steve no, Harvey. No, you listen to it. What do I listen to Can't in the car? Uh-uh. Uh-huh. What kind of music do that? Jazz. Okay, what kind of jazz? Guitar. Guitar. I talk, no, there's K-104. And gospel? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. On Saturdays. On Sundays. On Sundays. Church music. Church music. Let's go to church. Up in this joint. Okay.